Good morning, everybody. This is Melissa. I am here for Thrifty Thursday, where Sherry Buckner Brown has started a uh, open collaboration, and I know that Dale McBay is also a consistent participant. I do hope to be. Um, I'm here to share you some of my thrifty finds. We go out on a regular basis and scour the resale shops and antique shops and uh, find all kinds of treasures. So uh, first I'm going to start with uh, some of the linens that we have uh, recently found. And they are just adorable. I'm going to bring that up so you can see. And it is a bit worn, but that's okay. I'll use it anyways. That one. This one has a bit of uh, yellow in the greens and brown center. And these are just cream colored flowers with the green um, a collar. And actually, you can see the price that I paid for it. I like the design. Even though there's some stains on it, that's not a problem. I'll probably tea stain it anyways. Um, some doily, um, I'm sorry, hankies, little embroidered hankies. And this one was really pretty. And so is that one. Oops, can't pull a corner. Gorgeous. All right, I'll put that aside, and here's a large one. Very pretty. Beautiful linen. All right, some. I know there's some more. I think there's more of these, uh, but we'll get to them. Um, I also found. Um, we go to, oh, I don't even know how many different places. Uh, there's a, a PTO, which is um, uh, donations, and then they um, have their own charity that they work with. Um, and this is where I got these. They have bins and drawers and all kinds of stuff, and you have to go digging through. And these are beautiful, gorgeous beads. Uh, glass beads and look at the price dollar sixty um, I think this one was only a dollar this one was dollar fifty and this one was a dollar beautiful beads and I love green so um, that was pretty awesome and then uh, this these I got I think at the Salvation Army and they're just plastic but I thought they would work really well on the jelly plate and leave beautiful imprints and this was one of my favorite finds. Um, I don't think I showed this. So we got this uh, quite a few weeks ago, um, but I didn't show it in the last, the first video, which is my last video. Um, and they're beautiful vintage stamps, letter stamps. If I can get one out of here. They're difficult to get out. And I just loved the way they looked. There we go. And it's uh, almost an entire set. I think there is one letter missing. And the ink pad is completely dead, so. But th those will be fun to use on the, the journals. And this I got quite a while ago, and I kept putting it aside to uh, show everybody. Um, this is um, DMC, made in France. And it is stock full. And I saw this and snagged it right away. So this is number 50. There's my little tag. DMC 50 cotton. And it's beautiful. It has a slight sheen to it. So that'll be fun. I'm currently doing the um, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery project, uh, which lasts six months. Um, six different pages. There are uh, two pages of stitches and then the cover page and then you make your own book kind of thing. So that's a lot of fun. 
All right, um, next is some fabric samples. So we go to this place called um, The Scrap Box, and The Scrap Box takes donations, and they put together kits um, for classrooms um, where you can buy the kits for your classroom and you make all these fun little projects and stuff. And they have all kinds of stuff from like industrial to paper, you know, scrap stuff that people would normally throw away. Um, um, die, um, what do I want to say? So when a company cuts out something out of foam, then you get this, the throwaway pieces. And um, they also have like wood and they have bottle caps and just mixed media heaven. Well, um, I found these guys and these are absolutely stunning. And I love making traveler's notebooks. And this is the perfect size for them. So I'll do a quick flip through. These can be pieced. This sheer is really pretty. Um, there's quite a few of them. And different colors and uh, golds. So just keep going kind of through it real quick. So beautiful, beautiful uh, Traveler's Notebook covers. Silvers and golds. light isn't glaring and blues creams excuse me <coughs> please disregard the noise in the back Justin is making us lunch which is actually breakfast it is. yes all right beautiful it will be delicious. journal covers again <coughs> and doing a little bit more digging then I came across this a uh, beautiful assortment of velvet fabrics, which pieced together will make a stunning journal cover. Maybe a little bit of embroidery on that, little crazy quilting kind of stuff. And along with the lines of the embroidery, this was another one of the finds. And last video, I said I was looking for um, pretty wools, and I found that big, beautiful case with all the uh, acrylic spools for uh, Pretty Punch, which I'll be using. And then I found this bag, which had um, really pretty embroidery threads already on their little thing. really pretty colors and some of those and then I found these and look at those cards aren't they stunning there's another one of those oops I'm a little bit out of screen sorry about that so all these beautiful wool uh, threads. Awesome. And then I got two little bobbin winders. Cool. Because I didn't have any of those. I used to do it by hand. Alright, so that's that. And some of these might make it into a digital kit. I've got to research the age. And then this one. I thought this one was fun. Okay, yeah, I was right. A few more bits of doily. Uh, these are uh, Salvation Army. And um, no, actually they're not. They're the PTO. I'm sorry. Um, they usually have sales on the different colors of tags that they have, and you can get 50% uh, um, off, 75% off. So if you're really diligent, you can get some really good deals for just a couple pennies. And then 
these. This is a just a beautiful ribbon. I like the color of it. It's a very pale, like sagey green, uh, pale olive green, and it's got embroidered stitching on it. Let's see. If I can open this one. There we go. Really pretty. It is wired, but I usually take the wire out. I had two of those, and then this was a beautiful find. This is the luncheon set. And I still haven't even opened it. And yes, it was $6. I did splurge a little bit, but they're gorgeous. I neglected to put this one in the last video, but this one was so much fun. This, I don't think I put that in there. I don't think I did. But this one is a paper lace. And like these little white things, they pop out. It's part of the die cut, which is really cool. And I've already used a little bit of this. This was a great find. I was ecstatic when I found that. Um, and then this was, I believe, Salvation Army. And just a book of angels. And I got, whoops, sorry, I don't mean to bump. I got some more threads in pinks and uh, cream and you know, it looks like ecru, ecru, and some reds. And a couple different kinds. This one is really cool. It's kind of a coppery color. Very pretty. And then this one is just a taupe. And I, in my basket, I had every one of these that I could find, and I had to put some back because I was way over budget. So I grabbed two brown ones and two of the um, white ones. And they're just um, mother of pearl. And they're zipper pulls, but I thought how cute on a journal would that be? So yeah, we'll give them new life. All right, gotta move faster. These I got uh, quite a bit ago, um, but I did pull them out because I used one of them, um, this one, oops, sorry about that, on the uh, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery, I used the little white one in here. And I had actually forgotten about them and was digging through everything, and um, I think I've probably had these for probably a year now, so shame on me for not showing them. Um, but there's two sets. Those were fun, and there's that. Yay. And another little doily, little white doily. Uh, this one is just a random bit of material lace. Very cool. one was $1.50 and it was a pretty blue. I thought that was really pretty. So add that to my collection, which is huge. Almost don't have room for anything more. Um, these were really pretty. I didn't pay $1.99 for them. They were 50 cents. Beautiful little tassels to go on a journal. And this little piece was all by itself.
and these I got at the scrap box. And this one was really fun. Um, I found this again at the scrap box, and it is just pages of uh, leaves printed on regular cotton. Looks like almost muslin. Different leaves. Let's get the sensor. Really pretty for a um, woodland journal. And inside the bag was something somebody had already made and I've already begun using it. It is just a little needle book. I thought that was pretty cool. And then what did I pay for that? I paid a dollar for it. So very happy. Um, then we picked up some um, red and blue um, pencils, vermilion and Prussian blue. And these are vintage sequins. I paid 10 cents for them. You really won't be able to see them, but I'll try to showcase if I use them in a journal. Awesome. And then, of course, who can go and find pretty scrapbook paper? Even though it is from Big Lots, it's not antique or vintage or anything. I only paid $1.50 for it. Sorry about that. Pretty papers. And the last thing, um, I have a um, paper making set, but it is only four by six. And I was very happy. I did not pay $5 for it. I got it for a little bit less, but it is mold and decal for making paper. So this summer we're going to have some fun because I'll dig up my, uh, whoops, sorry, again I hit you, um, we'll dig up my paper making stuff and get to working. Yep. So the frame, the mold and deckle. Awesome. All right, everyone, those are my thrifty finds. I hope everyone has enjoyed viewing all this stuff and... Um, watch uh, Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. I know hers is already up. I haven't looked for Dale's, um, and there are quite a few others. Um, so happy thrifting, and I hope you find some incredible finds and enjoy all of our uh, videos. So have a wonderful day. Uh, bye for now.